Second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two baseball gloves and a partridge in a pear tree. Hey, Punch. Neighbor. How is baseball? Ugh, freezing. We went to the beer garden after, but we couldn't warm up. And then we were like, wait, what are we doing out here? We could be sitting in our cozy apartment playing baseball on PlayStation, and drinking eggnog. Yeah, he had a good point. Hey, you know, speaking of cozy, thanks for dropping off a fish soup. It was really good. Glad you liked it. George makes it every Christmas. It's a tradition. He grew up in Ballard, so, you know. Yeah. Which reminds me, I wanted to tell you about that weird pig. So on Christmas Eve, we were making the fish stew, and the entire afternoon, Syntax was acting super weird. He kept trying to get into the garbage, which was funny because we were saying bad Syntax. But anyway, at some point, we're eating dinner and Syntax runs through the room. Some type of weird thing in his mouth. Probably a crab claw. He hides under the bed. We go in there. I'm trying to get him out. Find whatever he had. I tell George... I'm just going to go and take the garbage out to the dumpster. So I walk to the back, put it in, come back, open the door, and Syntax has been waiting for me. The minute I open, he's gone. I mean, I looked for him everywhere, but he had totally escaped. Then I have this idea that if Syntax loved those soup bones so much, I should get them out of the garbage, lure him home. I'm headed back there and I hear these noises. And what do I see but a pig going through the dumpster? Wait, wait, wait. A pig going through the dumpster? Wearing, wearing a Santa hat? Yeah. And I see him grab the bag of trash. And I'm yelling at him, What the flip? That's our trash. What are you doing? But he jumps into a sports car and they go squealing down the alley. Wait. They? Well, I couldn't see who was driving. Well, tickle me pink. I'm so sorry about syntax. I love that goofball. That is a really bizarre story. Can I help you look for him? Oh, well, syntax came back the next day. He was back before we went down to play baseball. Oh, wait. So everything is back to normal. I mean, except that there was a pig stealing garbage. wouldn't say that. Syntax made it very clear that from now on he'll come and go as he pleases. Wait, what? We just have to leave the window of the fire escape propped at night. Last night he took off after dinner, came home in the morning with a guilty look on his face, like he'd been out partying all night. What? How is that possible? You know, I keep my window propped as well for the cat. I wonder if they're partying together. I think there's a lot we don't know, Jasper. Tell me about it. Maybe Syntax was the one who came in and stole my cheese curds. Did I tell you that the half box of cheese curds went missing? Well, actually, that's not true. The box is still there, but it's empty. Syntax loves cheese. I wouldn't put it past him. But you're probably sleepwalking and eating them in your sleep. You're so addicted to weird foods. I don't know. Weird foods. Foods is the least of my concerns. Weird stuff is going on. I mean, what's up with that pig? First in my dream, then in real life? Yeah, I forgot to tell you the weirdest part of all. So the pig hops into his getaway car, and the car has Alaska license plates. One of those vanity plates. It says, Syntax. Syntax? Like your dog's name? No, Syn. Tax, like a tax on cigarettes and alcohol. You're telling me 
that a pig in a Santa hat stole your garbage, got into a car, sports car. George thinks from my description it's probably a mid-90s Corvette. And drove away? Yeah, well, was driven away. Something tells me we need to find that pig if we want to get my cheese curds back and save Christmas. Not sure it's worth saving, Jasper. What's not worth saving, the cheese curds or Christmas?